And what's up folks, Mio Adlan here, back again with another episode of Seriously? Seriously is an episode where we talk about everything that is viral that's happening, not just in Malaysia, but also all over the world. To kick things off, do you guys remember this band called Rage Against the Machine? If you're a teen during the 1990s, you would definitely know this hard rock, rap singing, hit banging band from the United States and their songs are like seriously awesome and very, very rock and not really applicable for children, to be honest. But not any child can do such covers as this girl. Seriously, Audrey? Seriously? The song that you just did? You know that even the band's guitarist actually gave you a review. This is not an easy song to cover, Audrey, and you did spectacular. That is so cute. Seriously. Kudos to the dad, though. I mean, when I was that age, I only know what? Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars? London Bridge is Falling Down? That's the only thing that I know. Awesome stuff. That's how you get them started. Start them young, giving him a bit of rage against the machine. Killing in the name! Seriously. And to other news, it's not easy to actually speak in front of public, especially when you're the Prime Minister of a country. Yes, I know being the Prime Minister of a country, it's quite normal for you to go up to the stand, you speak to the public, you do interviews, you speak into the camera with gusto, with confidence. But this Prime Minister had a bit of a shocking situation. Uh, no. No, it does not, because he already has um, a shed, and the last thing we need is another shed for Clark. He has two. But it is. We're just having a bit of an earthquake here, Ryan. Quite a, quite a decent shake here. All but, right. Um, if you see things moving behind me, has it stopped? The Prime beehive Minister? moves a little more than most. Has it stopped, Prime Minister, or is it still going? Uh, yep. No, it's it's just stopped. Okay, and you're feeling safe and well to continue the interview? <laughs> no. We're fine, Ryan. All I'm right. not under any hanging lights. I look like I'm in a structurally sound, okay. uh, All right. sound place. Uh wow. Seriously? Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, just underwent the interview while the country was experiencing earthquake. I mean, seriously, how calm was she? She was like chill, relaxed, even looking around, no, nothing is over me and everything. If it was me, Jacinda, I'll be the first person running out the door, screaming for my life, oh my God, earthquake! But wow, you were so cool, you were so superbly calm, you maintain your composure very well, even during that time. Kudos to you, Jacinda. Seriously, awesome stuff. And lastly, during this testing period of the COVID-19, it is very, very difficult for any country to survive or even sustain to the economy that they are experiencing right now. Yes, of course, it has been disrupting the economy for sure. People have been fired left and right and center. It is very, very difficult, but it is our responsibility as well, especially to the influencers out there, to do whatever they can to help the frontliners. And this particular influencer down in Indonesia has something to offer you guys should you want to help bulan self quarantine kita semua udah bener-bener ngerasain dampak dari pandemi ini aku sendiri sebagai pengusaha ngerasain banget kalau misalnya ekonomi lagi drop apalagi para pelaku bisnis UMKM gimana mereka harus bertahan hidup dari cash flow bulan ke bulan di sini kita tahu kalau margin ekonomi global tuh bener-bener menurun banget dan pemerintah Indonesia udah berusaha semaksimal mungkin para tim ekonomi semuanya mereka udah berusaha ngambil keputusan-keputusan besar dan juga ngambil planning-planning terbaik yang mereka ambil kita tahu juga di sini dampak yang terkena COVID-19 ini. 
kita bener-bener banyak banget mulai dari tenaga medis ataupun masyarakat menengah ke bawah juga dan di sini aku Sarah aku akan ngambil keputusan terbesar dalam hidup aku aku akan ngelelang keperawanan aku mulai dari 2 miliar dan 100% dananya akan didonasikan dan disumbangkan kepada para pejuang COVID-19 dan semua yang membutuhkan terima kasih aku harap kalian bisa ngambil positifnya seriously seriously like seriously you are I, I I don't even know what to say here right now yes of course it is so commendable that you really want to help the people of Indonesia the economy of Indonesia but by auctioning your virginity that is just so so weird and so not really our thing but granted she has actually apologized after being bombarded by the masses of the citizens of Indonesia complaining and also you know expressing their concerns about her good deed wanting to help the economy well kudos to her at least she wanted to try even though what she wanted to do was not really that normal as what anyone would want to do no not gonna even close to that nope never all right that's all for this editions of seriously hope you guys enjoyed it there's more news there's more virus stuff happening all around the world and for sure you know i'll be covering them as much as i can so make sure you guys subscribe all the informations are down here follow me on instagram on facebook as well as on youtube and hope to see you next time see you guys